You may have seen this, the Earthrummer LTI on a Ford chassis, but you may not have seen this because Earthrummer is now also building their huge luxury Overland vehicles on the GM chassis. And here I have Zach from um, Earthrummer. Hey, Zach. How's it going? Hey, dude. So uh, you just launched this truck, what, a few months ago? Yep, so we announced this at SEMA this year. So SEMA 2022. Um, and this is our new Earthrummer SX. So the Earthrummer SX is a second model line for us. Uh, and this is going to now be built on the Chevy 6500 chassis. So print all 6500 because they also yep. have the other smaller, you know, lighter weight chassis. Uh, yeah. So this model is specifically designed for the Chevy 6500. Uh, biggest reason for it is, is that we needed a six series chassis and uh, we needed a six series chassis that was offered in a four by four factory configuration uh, and also a crew cab. So the Chevy 6500 which, fit the bill perfectly. Which you have here. Exactly. All right, sweet. Well, so you leave powertrain alone or do you do anything there? So powertrain is all going to be factory. Um, so we have the 6.6 Duramax under the hood uh, and behind it is a true Allison six-speed transmission. Um, and then all the way back to axles, brakes, everything there is going to be factory. Nice thing about that is, is that because we don't modify it, it's still under factory GM powertrain warranty. Um, and then suspension is going to be where we start to do modifications, frame all rails as well. All right, so let's, let's look at the front here. Absolutely. I see you have your rock lights kind of on. Yeah. So w tell me about this. You know, what, what do you, what's so happening up here? So we've switched the front to a, uh, a four link with a, uh, with a pan hard bar, with a track bar. Um, and nice thing about that is, is it allows us to use the air ride suspension that uh, has been developed in conjunction with Kelderman. And so we are now riding on four corner independent air ride suspension. Um, what that means is that it's going to be a super comfortable ride, just like our LTI feels like a luxury SUV going down the road. And it also allows for us to have four corner independent leveling when we get to camp. So all you got to do is manipulate the four corners and you can uh, level out for your campsite instead of having to drive up on blocks or use any kind of leveling devices. Yeah, it makes sense. Is it also a little bit height adjustable, I mean, overall? Yep, so we have three different ride heights. Uh, we have a low ride height that allows us to uh, get under like tree branches, rock outcroppings. We have our medium driving height, which is where all the suspension is best set up for on road. That's where the alignment's set, that's where it's most comfortable. And then we have a high ride height as well that allows for something like a river crossing where we want more ground clearance. Um, is this kind of a medium run right now or is this, this is low? our this is our medium ride height right okay now. this is where it would go down the road i gotcha well sweet and then um you have a bumper of course and kind of fender flares it looks a little bit different yeah so uh we build all of our bumpers in-house so this is actually a hand tig welded aluminum front bumper it's filled with our uh, new lighting package that uses the S xl linkables from baja designs um, and then we have in it a uh, worn 16,500 pound winch with a synthetic line and some Factor 55 gear on the front of it. Some other things that the bumper has is it has a FLIR camera, so that's forward looking infrared um, for essentially being able to see living objects at night. Um, we have front cameras, we have our recovery points. Um, and then when you move around to the side, you'll see our in-house fender flares. So we build the... Uh, the fender flares in-house along with all the rest of the composites, including the composite shell itself, the big part of the earth roamer. Um, so everything's kind of designed to look like it was uh, designed to kind of flow with the OEM style. Yeah, and also kind of one, one theme obviously with your home body and the cab as well. Correct, yep. So we designed this shell with the, uh, with the Chevy 6500 in mind and kind of wanted to follow the styling lines of that. Sweet. Let me just jump inside and then uh, I want to see, of course, the house. Of portion. course. Yep. Uh, there's just too much. There's a lot going on. Yep, absolutely. So I can see the camera systems, your light controls, uh, of course, the steering wheel, and it's, uh, of course, the Duramax diesel, like we talked about. Correct. Yep. Yeah, so this has got the 6.6 Duramax in it. Um, something that's really nice about that is, is because we're still well within the, the GBWR of the original chassis, this thing drives great. We actually got, um, we averaged about 11.8 miles per gallon on the way here. Sweet. All right, well, let's go into the house. Okay, let's do it. And then kind of look at the rear of the vehicle as well. Of course. I like the flow tie. 
<laughs> there, bam. Nice. And you can see the whole body is finished in our X-Guard finish. Now this is a, a, our own in-house blend here, um, and we can do this in just about any color. Nice part about it is it provides a lot of scratch resistance and uh, very easy to clean and wash off uh, compared to a paint where you might have to do a lot of cut and buff, especially if you push it through the trees. I see. Um, and is it similar to like a Linex? Very uh, similar to a Linex product. Okay. Now this is uh, UV stable, so it lasts for many years without looking faded in the sun or getting chalky. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. And what about range? Like uh, as far as driving little, range? A little over a thousand mile range. We have a hundred gallon tanks on this, um, or a hundred gallons worth yeah. of diesel yeah. total. Um, and so that gives us, like I said, we averaged 11.8 on the way here. So if we kept that average with 100 gallons, we'd be about 1,100 mile range. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Well, let's step inside. Of course. Oh yeah, I think this is what everybody wanted to see. All right, so tell me a little bit about, I haven't been in the earth room in a little while. Fair enough. So. Yeah. Um, the whole concept here is we want it to feel uh, as luxury as possible, and this is all handmade in-house. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, very skilled craftsmen in Colorado who are building these. Um, everything in here is custom chosen for the, uh, or chosen by the customer. So they can pick their species of wood for the entire truck. They can pick their layout. They can pick their uh, countertops and soft goods like upholstery and uh, backsplash and flooring. You can pick, would you rather have a washer dryer or an extra fridge freezer? Um, that is something new that is for this model is the option to be able to add a washer dryer. And um, it would be kind of on this side? Or? So it's actually right behind you under here. So okay. we have it right in here. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's going to be our washer dryer. It's Sweet. all in one unit. We also next to it have our wine fridge as opposed to our standard uh, wine rack. Um, in the cabinet over here, we have our coffee maker options. We yeah, have- A lot of drawers. Yeah, so things like our drawers uh, that people are used to seeing with our uh, routed out areas for silverware. And we've got our Shun knives here that all lock in with the magnets. So you kind of, when you select an earth roamer, this kind of all comes together this way. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So um, you can pick all of the options in here. And like I said, we have multiple layouts. Um, in this one, we now have the ability to sleep multiple adults. Um, so in our other model, uh, we have the standard California King up in the bunk area above the cab. Um, and then in this one, we now also have the option for the uh, rear dinette. And with the rear dinette that you see back here, this table will drop all the way down. And when it drops all the way down, that becomes a second California King bed. And it's kind of like power operated. Yep, uh, all we have to do is press a button here. And as I press the button, table goes down. And that gives us the opportunity to actually create a full California King back here. So what's really nice about that is, is that if you want to bring friends out on a trip with you, you're going on a ski trip and, and your yeah. friends want to come with you, they have a place to stay and they're not staying in a tent. Yeah, that's really cool. You can see we have our TV drop down from the ceiling. And if the TV were out of the way, you have 270 degree views out of all glass windows when you're sitting up in the bunk area. Or I'm sorry, the dinette. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really cool. L really spacious. Yeah. I mean, that's what the big chassis like this allows you to do, right? right. It's, it's to make it quite spacious. So this is four feet longer overall than our LTI model. Okay. Um, and with the four feet of length, we were actually able to get quite a bit more than that interior space. We rearranged the back of our truck a little bit. Um, so now the storage is underneath instead of on the back. And so it feels like a lot more than four feet inside in terms of additional area compared to the LTI. And are these like closet space? Or? Yeah, so um, if you come around this side and take a look here, we have got our closet, that's our hanging closet. And then below it is all full depth drawers for whatever clothes or other storage you need. Sweet, and then of course the bathroom restroom area. Yeah, so in this model, um, we now have the option to do the, uh, the dry bath. So what the dry bath offers us is a separate toilet area from shower area, whereas our smaller LTI uh, is a combo wet bath. So okay. uh, this feels a little bit more luxuri luxurious and you're not showering where you also have to use the restroom. 
And of course, there's a passage, uh, pass through. Yep, standard for all earth roamers is going to be a pass through into the cab area. Um, this one's going to have barn doors. So we have the ability to lock it off. Those will be insulated so that if uh, we can have all of our climate controls back here not being wasted on the cab space when we're camping. Uh -huh. um, and rear seating options in the cab uh, include either rear captain's chairs or we can do platforms, storage, other things like that if you're only traveling with two people. Gotcha. And there's, how do you get it up, up here? So I'll move this here. We have a ladder um, and this ladder just pulls right out like this, drops down, and now you nice. can climb up into bed. Nice, sweet. There's another TV up in the bed area as well. Yeah, I see that on, the, on this side. Yep. And lots of windows here as well. Yep, and there's also two behind the pillows that uh, we can't see right now, but there's four along the walls and then our uh, glass roof hatch as well. Now that's gonna be the access up onto the roof. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's, let's look at some storage outside, and i, I got to ask you uh, where, like, the pricing is. Absolutely. But let's talk about it outside. Okay, sounds good. Sweet. Oh, I also noticed the camera system here. Yeah, so we have our ghost security cameras. Uh, that shows us all four sides, 360-degree view around the outside of the truck so that we know what's happening. Those are all so uh, infrared, uh, so when it switches over to, like, a night vision mode, we can still see what's going on even if it's dark out. And I see the awning is open, but can you see through it? Uh, that's actually one of our glass oh. windows. Oh, that's a glass window. I see. Yep. I gotcha. All right. Well, let's go step outside. All right. Sounds good. Powered steps, right? Uh, yep. All right. So this is the storage you were talking about. Yeah, so now we have actually quite a bit more storage than our LTI. This is uh, what we're calling the garage. Um, now this is a heated space so that even in the winter you can keep your gear back here. Um, and it's all the way past through so we have about eight feet of length uh, that we can reach and almost two feet of height. So it's going to be really good for a lot of different types of storage including tubs, skis, maybe even large toys like kayaks, canoes, things like that. Um, we also have our uh, boxes here. These are our swing out boxes. Right now you can see this one was optioned with our exterior kitchen. So the exterior kitchen in this one has a Blackstone uh, grill. We can also do things like Traeger grills or traditional barbecues. And then this all packs up here. So all we have to do is slide it in, close it up. Swing it around and it's ready to go. Very cool. And of course you have a spare. By the way, I forgot to ask you, what's the size, what the tire and what the size tire are you guys running? So this is uh, a new thing for us in 2023. We've moved on to a 43 inch Goodyear tire. Okay. Um, we really like these because they're now offering us the opportunity to actually get up to highway speeds uh, without any heat issues or anything like that in the tire. Um, so higher speed rating, basically. Yep. So these are speed rated at 82, um, and we can do that all day long. Uh, we've actually been testing them at a little bit higher speeds than that, and they've been totally stable and fine. Sweet. Um, so really nice for if you're spending long days on the highway trying to get to your favorite campsite. And of, of course, I, I noticed also rear mounted uh, winch and the front as well. Correct. Yeah. So rear mounted winch. Biggest reason for that is, is that... Um, a lot of people around you may not be traveling with the capability to pull an earth roamer out. Um, and so you have the ability to pull yourself out of something both forwards and backwards. What is kind of like, I would say, uh, dry weight of this? This one as it's sitting is about, with these options, this one's about 22,000 pounds. All right. That's Doesn't, a big boy. It is, yep. Yeah, it's cool. And how tall, or if you put it in the lowest setting, What's the clearance as far as uh, uh, the top? If we drop it down on ride height, we can be under 12 feet. Um, at ride height, we're about 12 feet. Okay. So driving around at highway speeds, we're still about 12 feet. Yeah. And like a semi truck would be like 13 and a half feet or yeah, most, 13 feet. Most bridges, most overpasses are 13, six, 13, eight yeah. uh, at a minimum. Yeah. So we still have a foot and a half of clearance usually anywhere we go. All right, so I got to ask, what, how much how much does it cost? So this one starts a little over a million. Um, with the options that we see in this one 
and we, with most of the options that customers are going to typically pick, they're all going to be probably about 1.1. 1 1.1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for showing me uh, this. Uh, we're both based in Colorado, so maybe there's going to be another opportunity. Absolutely. Maybe to give this a drive or Absolutely. see your facility there. Yeah, and I'd love for you to come by the factory. Um, I think it'd be really awesome. Like I said, I, there's a lot of very proud craftsmen who spend a lot of time, and this is a product of about 24 years of, of trial and error, and um, we have 114 people in our facility who would be very happy to see you come by and look at the work that they're doing. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Thanks, thank man. you so much. All right. And of course, uh, we have many other videos from the show, so check it out at alttfl.com.